third day of Advent at La Lande, where I'm standing in front of a tree that, while skinny, I think represents the spirit of Christmas perfectly. As some of you already know, I've had a lot of bad news recently about the structure of the chateau, and there's going to be huge expenses ahead. It's been quite a stressful time just at the beginning of Advent. I will be telling all of you about it in Thursday's Chateau Diary, so I'll explain everything that's happened but it's just been very hard for me making all of the videos and it was okay for the first couple of days, everyone's here and it's lovely to see all of my friends again, but then I started to flag a bit and start worrying. Last night I just said, I don't know if I can carry on. I got a bit overwhelmed. I was like, I, I'm just too exhausted by it all. So I went to bed early and in the night, Philip, Alexander and Jared, as a surprise, stayed up until five o'clock in the morning and made this tree to cheer me up. This is the Peacock Tail Corner Tree. They have done the most beautiful job we've ever done on this tree. And they filmed it all so I'd be able to show you the footage as well. And I like to think that with these Advent videos each year, we spread the joy of Christmas to all of you watching around the world and inspire you to decorate your homes, to make a big fuss of your friends and family. And what's incredible is that this year, I was the one that needed to receive it and it's the other people in the house that did that for me. So this, I know, is going to be my favourite tree this Christmas because this really represents the true spirit of Christmas. This is what happened in the middle of the night. I think we've successfully hidden the tree. I think so too. <laughs> uh, actually, I think it looks really good. It's looking nice, yeah. So we just need to hide the base and put the tree topper on. And this fabric is called, uh, it's water marbling, it's called Peacock, this design. So it seems fitting and the color seems to work. Yeah. At least I think so. Yeah, I think so too. I'm just gonna kind of lay it and then drape it around the base. I mean, can I just say what troopers both of you are? I'm ready for another tree. I'm ready to go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> I think you might need the step ladder. It's a very tall tree for like the width. Yeah. Tall and skinny. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I actually think it looks really good. Yeah. Uh, I think it needs more bow on the top just to find this up right there. Is that the finishing touch? I think so. All right. Well, I declare this tree done. Yep. Cool. Cheers. 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 Let's see what Steph says in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you being hard at work. I'm just editing. Have you been downstairs yet? Oh, you're filming. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. you. I love this cup of tea. Christmas pig. Christmas pig. I love this mug. How's everything downstairs? Great. Have you been downstairs yet? No, I thought I'd just edit in bed today, calmly. Well, maybe you should get dressed and just come and have a look what we did in the night. What did you do? You'll find out. No, seriously, what did you do? There might have been a little bit of decoration. While I was sleeping? Yes. I'm coming now. Okay. Where? You'll see. Oh, look! Actually, that's quite a clue for what you're about to see. The peacock? Maybe. Well, did you give the peacocks a memo that they had to be looking really cool outside the window today? Yeah, I trained them. You are a peacock whisperer. Mm. Does that mean you decorated peacock tail corner? Wait and see. <sighs> this is really exciting. I love it. I can't believe you did that in the middle of the night. What time did you finish? Well, it was Jared, Alexander and, and me, and we finished at, I think, 3.30. It is beautiful. And we filmed it. You are an angel. You're all angels. You're like the Lalong Christmas elves. I love the bows. Jared made those. You usually hate bows. I... Philip really hates bows I don't on hate trees. bows. You hate bows on trees. I think just the ones you have are techie. All bows on trees are good, as far as I'm concerned, but 
These are nice. These, they are spectacular. They're lovely. I love the ribbon. We were sent the ribbon, weren't we? Mm -hmm. It looks incredible. But I have more for this tree that you don't know about. Okay. Yes, yeah, so I've got a few little additions for this year. It's already pretty full. We can find a space. Okay. I have to admit that the tree gave me the strength to get dressed and not only that, but inspired me. I am matching the tree. It is a peacock day today. And I have all of these little bottles that I bought quite a long time ago specifically for the peacock tail tree because everybody is really used to having little liqueur chocolates very popular on this tree but i thought this year we would up the game and have actual liqueurs so i chose them specifically for various reasons monkey shoulder for example is the whiskey that dan and amri always drink that's for them my uncle's favorite drink is ricard so there's a lot of those i'm sure you'll have quite a few ricards whilst he's here Philip loves Martini Rosso as his aperitif, so that's in there. And then I got some things just because they're very French. So we have uh, Lillette, Chartres. This is great. It's a strange herbal drink, many centuries old, created by the monks in France. This is a pear liqueur, Poire Williams. We have creme de cassis. This is what you need to make a Cure Royale, which is just creme de cassis and champagne. Coffee, cherry, ginger for Christmas. And I had to get Bombay Sapphire Gin for the colour, obviously. How amazing are they going to look on the tree? So I've got some ribbon and some scissors, and I'm just going to wrap up each of these and put them onto the tree. Thank you, Alexander. You can't know You're how welcome. happy it's made me. Oh how, what time did you go to bed? Uh, six o'clock in the morning. <laughs> so that's why you're wearing the dark glasses we... today? <laughs> <laughs> no, just for style, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and they are stylish. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> These are starting to look really cute. We've got a good production line here, yes. me and Alexander. This is great. It's funny how just tying a little bit of gold ribbon suddenly <laughs> makes something seem Christmassy. It goes on the Christmas tree? Oh, yes. Oh, nice. <laughs> I had originally planned this, if I'm honest, to be the household advent calendar and I got 24 little bottles. Each person could take it in turns to open that day's advent calendar by choosing one of their favourite drinks from the tree. But it's not really ideal when you have an ever-shifting household with different numbers of people and probably each person will get maybe one advent calendar treat in the whole season. But that was before I knew that Jared was going to make the beautiful chateau, which is now our advent calendar. However, if you're just living with one person you love very much and for example they like whiskey you could make a christmas tree advent calendar with a different whiskey for each day of advent or gin or whichever drinks they like we've done the arduous bit now we get to do the fun bit yeah we're gonna put it on the oh, christmas yeah. tree. Put it on the tree oh it sounds like your bells there <laughs> sounds like christmas <laughs> Jingle bells, 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 you nailed it. Yeah. Put the nice ones at the back so no one sees them. Which ones do you want hidden, Michael? Oh, I think you'll probably like the cherry Ooh, liqueur. Yes. I'm going to hide it for you. Okay. Yeah, and the back. Perfect. Excuse me, Mr. Peacock. Thork, do you just move out of my way? <laughs> Thank you. Perfect. Oh, just nestle that monkey shoulder in there. There seems to be a hole in our bauble. <laughs> We've got to put something in there. There's a hole in my bauble, dear Michael, dear Michael. There's a hole in my bauble. It, you know what it is? You know what it is? It's, it's a peacock egg. And one of the peacocks have hatched from not. that. I love that. It's a Christmas miracle. <laughs> You've got to be very careful when you're hunting for alcohol on this tree because there's some baubles that are disguised. Masquerading <laughs> as bottles. The tree is absolutely perfect. I love it. And I think I'm inspired to have a little cocktail party tonight to officially open Peacocktail Corner for the Christmas season. I promise you that I have changed into something far more glamorous for Peacocktail Corner, but you can't tell because I've had to put an apron on because I had a sudden urge to make nibbles for the cocktails. And I was inspired from the Christmas Scotch Egg Ornament. 
because I love scotch eggs and every time I come into the kitchen I see it there looking absolutely delicious and I can't eat it. So I thought why not make Christmas scotch eggs for Peacock Tail Corner. That's brilliant. So what you're saying is whenever I have a craving for a food I need to get an ornament of that food stuff yes. and just strategically place it. And then I'll cook it. Oh, that's brilliant. Get the ornaments nice enough. This is yeah. so typical. I realised at the last minute that I didn't have any herbs, so we've had to come out in the dead of night with the light on Michael's phone, because I really think marjoram, and we need parsley, so we're going to try and get some parsley in the greenhouse, and I think some sage as well. And thyme, let's have some thyme, let's have it all. Where's the thyme? Around the other side, I think. Okay, I'll grab lots of this. Oh, it looks so good. It smells so nice. I'm very excited for scotch eggs. I know, I haven't had any for... I think over a year. Actually, where's the sage? It used to be over there, but I think it might just have been moved. Let's quickly check. It's a little bit like the Blair Witch Project, this. You need to run a bit more with the camera going up and down. I just... A lot more panting. <laughs> and just look at the... Panting sage. sage. sage here. I can't see it. Oh no, I'm trapped. I'm trapped. Without Not in here? Uh, no, that's the rose bed, Michael. Okay. Can you see... Any sage tonight is not sage. You can't sage because you can't pay. Those aren't sages. The good thing is, do you even like sage in this book? Oh, I love sage, but not in a scotch egg. egg. Don't... I doubt the Scots had sage when they invented eggs. The Scots actually didn't invent the Scotch egg. It was either Fortnum and Mason for all of the very, very rich people who lived in Piccadilly. So they'd have a nice little snack to take in the carriages to go to their country estates. Or it was originally in Whitby and instead of sausage meat, it was fish paste. Mind blowing. So do you need to go with fish? I think we have to give up on sage. Parsley. Yeah. Didn't want sage anyway. No. Parsley! Woohoo! We're saved. We have parsley, we have thyme, we have marjoram, we're saved. Good. Yeah, it looks like sage. Sage. It's actually sage. But there's only... Sage. There's only little. We don't need much. We can take just a few leaves. Okay. We'll be fine. It's the principle of the thing by this point. Oh, it does smell good. Actually, I love sage in a scotch egg, don't you? Love it. <laughs> I've always said... So... Can't have a scotch egg without exactly. sage. Exactly. There's definitely going to be herby scotch eggs. Just put all the leaves together, chopping them up really finely, and then I'm going to mix them with the sausage meat. Okay, lots of pepper. Now we're going to drain the eggs and put them straight into some ice water. Lots and lots of ice in that water. And we want them to crack as they go in. Okay. I'm going to make it them easy to peel later, so I'm just going to crack them against the side. We have 11 eggs, so I've split it into 11 different balls of stuffing. And then I flatten them out between cling palms so that I keep my hands tidy. Then we're going to wrap it around the egg inside the cling film. And we have our first one. And that can wait because we'll be putting breadcrumbs on at the last minute before putting it in the hot oil. I'm going to admit that the cling film method was very neat and tidy and clean. But this method is a lot easier and quicker and time is of the essence so I've switched and I thoroughly recommend that if you don't mind getting your hands a little bit dirty, this is so much better. It's actually quite satisfying as well. Final stage of the factory production. We roll them in flour, egg and breadcrumbs. I have prepared them all so this is it, they can go into the hot oil. I'm going to try to cook six at a time. This may be a little ambitious. Golden brown. Last ones are coming out. Doing time. Thank you. Very nice. Thank you very much. We have a scotch egg tower because that's how I like my scotch eggs. I don't know why my scotch eggs are so fat, but I feel that's a bit of a first world problem, so we'll just live with it. You, Alexander and Jared are the guests of honour at this cocktail party, because without the three of you, there wouldn't be a cocktail party, there wouldn't be a pea cocktail corner, so Merry Advent. Merry Advent. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you, darling.
And we have very special guests to share the scotch eggs with. <laughs> Juliette looks wildly excited. They're actually yeah. my favourite food. Are you serious? I, really, really I love yeah. them too. Food. I really That's what love I make them. Everybody bring from the UK. No way. Yeah, yeah. yeah every time oh. we go to the UK, she brings a uh, suitcase full of scotch yeah. eggs. And we even have a penguin, a very special penguin, about yeah. to enjoy a scotch egg. Mm, that's amazing. That's yeah. really good. Mm. Oh, she's stolen mine. <laughs> is that the penguin seal of approval? Frankly, it's good. Do you want to listen a little bit? Huh? 